Good evening, friends. We are barely one full day away from the great fast of Yom Kippur. The atonement, the fast, commanded here. This is the Hebrew, this is the Hebrew Bible. God commanded us to fast for 24 plus one hour once every year. We are barely one day away from this fast. And the thought came to me to have a very little discussion about this great fast. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know that life happens. 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, during the great fast of Ibuaja, everything would close down in Igbo land. The Igbo world would slide to a close during the great fast of Ibu Aja. I prepared a very short testament which I'm going to read about this fast. Due to criminal colonialism, which replaced our own Igbo rituals with the rituals of the colonialists. 99.9% .9 of Igbos don't know that the Bimwa goat of Azazel we all saw and cracked jokes with was in the Oriapo market at my republic. Puedo market at the American Mother Oasis market, a Fonobi at Mobi Obi Wanness market, a Coca at IK Obonas market, Otun Kwanicha at the one time largest market in Black Africa because of the great fast of Yom Ki Po. That goods we all cracked jokes with was in these markets. They were in these markets because of the great fast of Yom Kippur. You know you saw it, as I know I saw it. You saw it, I saw it. We all saw Mbimwa. Igbos, fellow Igbos, I'm now referring to Igbos, to Igbo people all over the world. Those that still call Nigeria their country, those that are that have been citizens of the United States for 300 years, I mean those cut off during the transatlantic slave trade, those you find in the Caribbean, those you find in Sierra Leone, those you find in Liberia, those you find in Gabon, as natives. Of course, Igbos are found all over the world. I'm talking about places where Igbos are natives. Those you find in England, I'm talking to all of us. What keeps a nation together and the energizes it are its rituals, its own rituals, not imported rituals. The atonement is Ibuaja in Omenana. Our ancestors knew that a national repentance is very important every year to encourage us to stay away from sin. So they accepted the command of Chiuku to do one every year. It is commanded here. And God said it will be done in perpetuity. God did not say it will stop. God did not say it will stop when he sends Remy to the world or anybody to the world. God said do it perpetually. I know you want to fight. We have a fulefu. We have skeptics. We have enemies of progress. We have anti-Semites. All fighting against the Igbo's Israelite ancestry. 
we, of course, we know the bigots. We know those ones who don't want to believe that those they have classified as the black man are a part of sacred scripture. So even though that in Imo, that God of Azazel that you read about in the Bible, even though the Igbo world is the only part of the Israelite world you will see that good still walking about, the skeptics won't want to still say, we are not sure that the Hebrews are Hebrews. Because Hebrew is the English language term for the word Igbo. I know you want to fight. To doubt everything, I'm talking about the Igbo skeptics now. But you saw me more as I saw it. You know you saw it. And many colonial writers saw your grandfathers depositing the sins of your communities on the heads of the goods, as Chuku commanded in the Igbo bracket Hebrew Bible. And in the 1930s, when my mother was an infant, they wrote what they saw. Those colonial writers wrote what they saw. They were Europeans. If I had been born by then, you would have said I'm making up the story after pretending you didn't see me more. What kind of thing will I not hear in this world? Some jokers, some jokers have said that Hebrews say that they are Hebrews, that Hebrews say that they are Hebrews so that they will be able to go to the state of Israel as economic migrants. But Igbo said 200 years ago that they were Hebrews when nobody knew that the state of Israel would rise. This is about the 200th year of our Lord Equiano's existence in this world. Your ancestors, my ancestors, tried to live holy lives to obey Chuku. And under their wash, Igbo land was not living with flowing with blood as it is presently. I'm always reluctant, hesitant, ashamed to talk about this. But I observed that the more I hide it, the more Igbos we live in denial. It's better to shock us so that we would know that Igbo land is going. We may not be able to keep it. We will keep it perpetually if we can Abide by all the commandments. And principle among the commandments is kindness. How many Igbo youths have been killed in an Igbo in 2022? Someone said over 10,000. One politician from Igbo State said over 10,000 a few months ago. Let's emulate our ancestors, obey Chiupu, and leave. Igbo just starts tomorrow evening, try to do something about it, something no matter how little. You can fast for 6 hours if you can't for 25 hours. Contact an activist of women and a defenders. Contact Professor Francis Duru. Contact Engineer Zorgo. Contact Nzerabi Osuji. Contact Nzerabi Zwono. Contact Nzerabi Kenneth Omete. Contact Nzerabi Chira Obiora, contact Zerabi Ile Obi, contact Zerabi Ibo Hebrew Lawrence, contact Zerabi Luke Chimuba, contact Zerabi Remedius Agobuano, contact any Zerabi you can find, contact them, ask them questions about this, questions that you need clarified, ask them, ask me. Contact an activist of women and a defenders for guidance as you know. Even, very importantly, take out a little money, look for that very poor Igbo widow. Look for that very poor Igbo orphan. Give them the money. That money you would have used to enjoy yourself tomorrow, fast a little, use that money to support a struggling Igbo. As you know, Chuku alone can solve that nagging problem. I'm going to share this video at IMI. 
Many of our brothers and sisters there are in need. They know what they lack. They know what they have been praying for. They know what they come out every day to talk about. God can solve that problem. Obey. Obey God. Make that little sacrifice. Seek out that orphan. Seek out that widow in your communities. That very poor one, not the rich ones, and not those necessarily related to you. Aid them tomorrow. Give them 50 naira. Give them 100 naira. Give them 1,000. And see, the Lord will bless you. The Lord Chuku will bless you. That problem nagging you, only God will solve it. I will use this opportunity to tell those that will care to listen. Every Igbo tradition, every authentic tradition of Omenana, you would find it in the Hebrew Bible. If not directly, indirectly. Be on the lookout. As the colonial religions in Nigeria collapse, many of our people in confusion are also inventing what one of my friends that I respect so much call pagan traditions, and they call these things Omenana. If you don't find it in Torah, it's not Omenana. If you think, if you survey and survey and survey, and it's not related to Omenana, tell whoever is trying to pitch it to you to take it to the pit of hell. It's not Omenana. Everything that is authentic Omenana, you will find it, if not directly, indirectly related to this. And on this note, I'm going to conclude, but not before I pray for us. And the prayer is, may his light, may he who blessed our fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, may he shine his light on all the children of Israel and all the sections, all the members of humanity that want peace, that are ready to come down, to come and be under that one true king. Chiyoku. Have an easy fast for members of our community that are fasting. Have an easy fast. May the fast be easy for you. And may we also be preparing to fast by this time next year. Say Amen.